What's up, YouTube friends and family? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. All right, so this is going to be an update about the revocation of signature. All right, so what that is is you have the right to rescind or revocate your signature from a file or, or within someone's uh, database, uh, whatever. Okay, so. Um, as most of you know, in the efforts of trying to remove old, corrupt, fraudulent information from hypothetically, let's just say, databases like the DMV or DOT, um, you now there's no guarantee that they're actually going to do it, but let's just say you can provide legal information to them that they should remove your information. Okay, so one of the new files that I provide is down below. It's the revocation of signature. And what it entails is the fact that typically they look at that file as you open it up and it's their confidential materials and rights. So you're going to probably be <clears throat> denied initially like I was. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I've got proof that they've successfully done this information. But I know that you can request it and this is how I've done it with my affidavit, okay? Um, I basically stated a number of laws um, that coincide with the fact that I opened up that file, that account, by my, my will and my energy. The fact that it was opened under um, fraudulent terms and understandings. I had no longer wished to participate in there and that that information is confidentially mine. Okay, So another thing you're going to have to kind of do is you need to file a trademark on your all capitalized name or if you already own it as a business name you'll need that. Okay, That and also you file a trademark against your signature. Okay. Um, because it's yours, it's unique, you've been using it for 20, 30, 40 years or whatever else, so it's uh, it's been out there and it's been used by you and there's proof of it all over the place. So go to your state, file for those things, then what you're going to want to do is contact them via affidavit, go to the notary, get it, you know, get your affidavit uh, notarized, uh, and then you're going to contact them in a polite manner and let them know of your update. Once you let them know of your update, you're then going to uh, let them know that they have a 30-day um, window to remove those materials that are yours and copyrighted by law and that um, they can have the file but any of those images which is your signature and your uh, all caps name which is your business trademark are yours and hypothetically, this is educational purposes only, if you feel so inclined, um, you could say something along the lines of, mm, there's a, after 30, 35 days, there's a fine for usage for each one. I mean, I would. Um, you could... You can get more creative, but don't be um, a dick. Let's just get to the point. All right, so you've stated your claims. Um, my claims, these and some more, are also in the file uh, that I provide, which is down below. You can make your own. Um, you can also do a um, uh, estoppel of use. Uh, so there's a number of things you can do. Now this is only going to be for those people who are traveling in private and they have successfully removed their information from their vehicle, they have declared their uh, US national citizenship properly, all that before you get to this. Um, this might work without it, I don't know, I can't validate that, I'm just telling you what I've done my experience and that uh, if you're in the same position uh, this might be an option for you. Uh, so put it together, send it off and typically they're not going to respond in that in that time frame. Um, 
you could you should send it off to the DMV, the DOT. Um, you can even send it to the chief of police, and uh, you can then follow up. Technically, you're supposed to follow up with a um, notice of default letter in another 35 to 45 days. Just putting them notice. You don't have to um, because by law, if they haven't responded in 30 days, by acquiescence, they have made it fact, especially if they have not rebutted or rebuted or um, contested each thing on there that you're declaring, then they have to. Um, mine goes into a little bit deeper detail. I'm just giving you something to get your, your, your taste buds wet so you can create your own. Um, obviously I can't give away all the proprietary information, otherwise what's the point? Um, and yes, I know other people out there are like, well, you know, you should just give everything away for free. Well, giving away everything for free doesn't keep the lights on, doesn't help keep me fed and keep, you know, me having time to do this. Um, plus everything is pretty, pretty reasonable. Um, but I, like I said, that's only if you choose to get mine, okay, what I created, my intelligent properties. I'm giving you the information, as I do with all of my videos. 90% of everything I'm telling you is what you can do. You just got to sit down, type it up, okay? Guarantee if you go most other places, you know, it's going to be more expensive than mine. And that's fine, okay? Um, like I said, most people didn't even know about half this stuff. So, yeah, I'm putting you on, and it is what it is, you know? Like, if, if, it's, if any of the prices I offer are too much then you probably, this, maybe this ain't for you, or you ain't have enough money, okay? But let me tell you this. A lot of people are buying my materials and reselling them for a lot more, okay? It's just a matter of who you, who are you going to find and, you know, getting it if, if it's what you need. Um, and then if I haven't said this in multiple videos, any files that you guys buy, um, if you buy two or three or four, um, you know, typically three for sure, I will usually just discount it, and if I don't discount it for like one or two, um, then I usually add in free files um, that I normally like just give away or that I think you might find interesting or something to provoke your mind. Okay, so unlike other places, I'm not a cold person who's just like, all right, uh, 500 bucks, thousand dollars for this, that, and the other, you know, and then just nothing and whatever, you know, not that way. Real person, cool dude, just chilling. Trying to bring you guys some information. Remember, I live this way already. You know, I'm fine. I'm good with how I'm getting down. I'm trying to wake people up who are looking for that something that they know exists, but they but they haven't quite figured it out or they don't have the time. So the little money that I do make from here and whatever else, like, allows me to do this, which allows me to give it, give you guys enough of this information that you can do it for yourselves. Like I said, and if you just happen to not want to do it, then he, hey, I already have, and here it is. So that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, check, take a look at the offers down below. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe on the way out. Tell somebody that you appreciate them. Stay healthy, stay smart, stay woke. Uh, and more videos to be made, so I will talk to you later. Your wolf is out. Woo! <laughs> later, guys.